Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. You are welcome to your Pan African TV Vision Card. This is Meeting Point. We are meeting you live from our headquarters here in Yaounde. I am Chu Emmanuel at the anchor. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, in this edition of Meeting Point, we will be having as guests, but for us to go to the guests first, we will say what we'll be talking about. And the topic for today is whether the appointment of Eric Esose as the new Elecam Director General is going to end the squabbles that have been existing in this election body. And of course, we'll be having a sub-team. As you know, we are in exams period. Official exams, we take the case of the GC and the baccalaureate exams. The role of all education stakeholders in ensuring that success is the portion of both kids and students. We'll be live back after this break. Thank you. You are welcome back. If you are just joining us, this is Meeting Point on Vision Card Television coming to you live from our headquarters from Sam Yaoundé. And of course, like we did say, we're beginning with our topic, the first one, which is, will the appointment of the new Director General, Eric S. Sose, Director General of Elecam, is it going to end the long-standing troubles that have been witnessed in this elections body in Cameroon? And in the studio with me, we have our panelists, and we'll begin with you. Somebody who works at the National Assembly, Mr. Mo Waters, you're welcome. Thank you, Brother Emmanuel, for giving me another chance and opportunity. And I want to use this opportunity to extend greetings to a true brother and friend who are good viewers of this program from Douala. That's Professor Frank of Kingship, the National Chairperson of NPPC Party. Thank you very much. And we go right to the far, uh, far left. We have. Uh, Mr. Fa Evis Tayong, you're welcome, the press man, right away from the, from the up, the grass field, northwest region of Cameroon. Yeah, uh, thank you. It's my pleasure being uh, here at this platform, you know. We try to do the one we can do, but we thank God for having given us the grace and has enabled us to move all through to be here. And of course, we have our own very Mr. Che Elias, who is here with us in the studio. He doubles as a teacher. You're welcome, sir. Thank you very much. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, we hit the focus. Uh, to you, Mr. Mo Waters, I put this first question. Is the appointment of the um, new Director General at Elecam, will that come down the situations that used to occur there? We've seen many fired, many fired because of the internal squabble, tussle for power, who is above who? Do you see it like that? Uh, thank you, for, Emmanuel, for that observation. I think the power tussle between uh, the president of the electoral board and uh, the director general of ELECAM is repeating itself. After that, between uh, Professor Fonka Mazu and Tanimo, now is another issue after the changes. And I want to believe that there's a problem with the text, the internal regulations governing the functionings of this body as to defining who has to do what and when. Don't forget the members of the Electoral Council take out of service before the Cameroonian people, but the director and his vice of ELECAM do not take any out of service before the Supreme Court. And this permits them, like those who are in charge, to carry out day-to-day -day operations, that is, organizing, controlling, and supervision of electoral materials, activities, management of personnel, to be able to take the laws into their hands, because indirectly, all those who work with ELECAM in charge of day-to-day -day activities of ELECAM are directly answerable to the uh, Director General of ELECAM, not even the President of the Board, which is uh, unacceptable. So it's time for the members of Parliament who are lawmakers to be able to make a revision of these reforms or these general rules and regulations governing the functioning of these two main organs so as to avoid conflict of power because ELECAM has an opportunity for the first time in the history of this nation since its creation in 2008 to write its name in the sands of time. Why? Because 2018 is a year we're having an election that will never be like any other election in Cameroon. And I'm sorry for people who are who come and they come to go in for election because we have candidates in this election that uh, have made us to understand that this election has been soaked in the blood of Jesus. So if a Lakeham wants to write a positive or negative name, that is their cup of tea. Because first in the history of Cameroon, we have people of 35, 36, below 40 that are running elections. And not just any type of politician, but God's candidate. I'm talking here of people like Prophet Frank of Kingship. 
which is our generation, our age mate. And I want to believe that that challenge with the divine man of God, because some of us speaking today, are, it turns to the grace upon that hand that delivered us because we became alive. And if such a man is becoming involved in the electoral process, Cameroonians and those in charge should fear for the first time to play with it. So a Lakeham, whether the laws are right or wrong, have an opportunity to reconcile themselves and put things in order because if you sign a voter's charge this time around with anything manipulated upon, I think God will hold you responsible now, not in the days to come, because things are becoming more and more than serious. Okay, thank you very much. We'll be coming back to you. Uh, Mr. Fatayon Elvis, you know, uh, you are a press man, you have been following analysis made by different media houses. What do you take as an appointment of this new director, Eric Esose? Is that going to calm down situations? Because I want you to get it from the press perspective. Yes, I think... Um if I come in, um, I, I would have to be a little bit hard because the present state where we are, if people were hard and truthful from the beginning, we should not be where we are today. Okay. But because people were hiding the truth, because they were controlled and manipulated by evil spirits for selfish gains, they have plunged us to where we are today, which they are not still free because God's hand is watching. That's why when I hear my brother talk about Prophet Frank, I become very excited because... I was saying that if we have men of God, the time for men of God to take this country further has come. Those who keep soaking blood and making people to suffer, their time has expired. If you are wise, it is even to start repenting now. Because if you don't repent, repentance will take you unaware. Well understood. Mr. Therefore, Harry, if we look point. at what we are saying here now, we realize that the appointment of the new Director General of Eleka, to me, we still have a long way to go. Why do I say so? First, the foundation of the election of the Lekam has a problem. Laws themselves, they conflict. The clear role of the president is conflicting with that of the Director General. It becomes another worry. That's why I'm saying that if the state is serious, they are supposed to restructure so Lekam. You move out the issue of president and uh, director, and then you make it in such a way that there should be a director and a, a, a vice, or a president and a vice, and they move ahead. Now, if we look at it critically, what we're saying here is that the appointment of the new uh, boss for Lekam, to me, has not still solved the problem. Meaning that if they could go to drawing board, pass through the National Assembly, as per se, and new laws are enacted to adjust it, I am sure that one person will not be feeling like doing the work of the other. But all the same, we are talking about election periods around the corner. And therefore, we will not fold our arms, and that's why when we get credible candidates coming up, we think that though things are wrong somewhere, but God works in a miraculous manner. And if man refuses to make things straight, God will definitely make things straight. And of course, uh, thank you very much for explaining your own points of view. And I want to come to you, Mr. Elias. Do you think <clears throat> this very problem, is it not better to solve it by appointing a new director as the text preview? Uh, the internal regulations of the LECA before we are looking at revising the text I would like to the make... promptitude of the head of state in resolving this temporal, mm -hmm. this hitch Emmanuel you bear with me that in Cameroon we only talk, always talk of they are good text but the application of those texts has always become a problem and the issue is the issue of, it's a managerial issue and what is management? Management is using necessary skills to achieve organizational goals and it instills an atmosphere of teamwork. In Cameroon, you discover that more of administrators than managers. It's a clear case somewhere there's this disparity. This conflicting view of who is doing what and at what time is a whole issue about the constitutional text of what this person is supposed to do. At one time, some people, some people go above their, uh, their fears of authority and impede into the authorities of order, Why others go by negligence of the text. A case in point is what is happening today in Enekam. It's not only Enekam. We also face with the Enam, where the director general had a problem with the chairperson of the board of directors. So this is a, a lot and lots of things coming up that today in this panel, I'm sure at the end of the day, will toe the line. Yeah, sure. Okay. We'll be coming back to you later, yeah. Mr. Che Elias. Uh, Mr. Mo Waters, it, yes. don't you see that the President of the Republic, as per the text now, yes. since it has not yet been revised, has acted rightly and promptly 
in yes. order to calm situations first before we look at revising the text? Very right. At first sight, I think this appointment will solve problem to a lesser extent. You know, a referee in a football match that is hungry will not escape from bribery and corruption. If a late camp staff have been crying, many of them have gone two, three months without salaries. It's but no matter they cannot withstand bribe from political parties that are major stakeholders in elections. So if the appointment or if we keep aside an old director general that have not been taking appropriate care of these workers and will appoint a new person, it's a way forward. Hopefully that the person coming in will know I'm about taking over from my boss because it's directly the assistant that is taking over from the former director. I'm about taking over from Mr. Babale, who was my boss, and I myself have suffered the grievances that the status of workers were not properly taken into consideration, and of course, to do everything in order to resolve such a problem. So that we'll have an election where people will be proud to be part and parcel of it. This has been a prestigious organ where not any type of person should be opportune to work in a, with the Lekam. And if you are there, they have financial autonomy in managing to go to Lekam like a sovereign institution. And with the giant budget they, 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 they defended at the National Assembly last November, putting it into execution, the well-being of staff and personnel not taking is unacceptable. So I want to thank the head of state first for being alert to know that when each institution or organ of this nature has a problem, particularly towards election year, we should be able to change hands. Because no matter how bad someone is, when there is a change, you at least try to do something before. Take, for example, with uh, the, the outgoing director general, Mr. Babale. He came in to take over from Tanimo at a time when a Lekam was suffering problem of kids, materials. They were so poor. But when he came well, in, he solved the problem, solved of, the problem of materials. Mm -hmm. And now has posed another problem, not giving preference to the well-being of staff towards payment and regularizing, regularizing their status. Don't forget, we think about the future. When you are working now, what becomes of you tomorrow when you are not still with a Lekam? Those are questions that are taking into, we must take into consideration. And we believe they are being paid for the labor code, then like contractual or cadre, we should respect the text, protect their interests so that they can in turn do their work well. You know, job incentives is so important in this country because people don't motivate others. It's like because you are jobless and you struggle and you manage to have a job, if you take a hundred thousand, you should be comfortable. It's unacceptable. This is one Cameroon we have, we don't have two nations. And if I have a chance to surrender service to this nation, it's not like I now I have signed my dead warrant to be sweating up and down necessarily. How do you expect an Elecam staff who is checking from Karifu Tam Tam to go to Bastos with 200 fans in pocket to deny accepting money from some of our politicians who will motivate you with 5,000 fans to enter the car and will go, will you monitor election free and fair? And at the end, we'll say Mr. Bia has rigged election. Does Mr. Bia work with the Lekam? No. So those who are working under the Lekam should take their responsibility in their hands because what used to happen with the deals and senior divisional officer in this country after election because of rigging, if the Lekam fool around, they will pay the price very expensive. Okay, because some you. of us are part in this elections too. Yeah, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Far Evistayam. Mm -hmm. You know, we have been getting stuff from that the director has been removed because of mismanagement. I think. Is it only mismanagement or defiance in if this involved in this very whole thing? Is well, it only uh, mismanagement or defiance is also involved? France is involved, and then the aspect of um, arrogance, uh, you know, sometimes you might be a boss, but you need to also be humble because in as much as you deserve respect, respect begets respect. Yes, now, uh, that is one of the factors. But then, if I look at the entire issue, uh, I am one of the very few Cameroonians who keep on saying that we keep on accusing uh, people for not doing what they're supposed to do because the system itself is epileptic. I will say it and I'll repeat it over and over. When you have an epileptic system, you don't expect things to go good. Head of state is supposed to call the shots. He has the prerogative power to keep, give the guidelines for electorate to function properly. I am tempted to think that the powers that be are happy when people have power tussle among themselves for reasons best known to them. Because during the period of Funka Azu, we saw the same thing, Director General and President. Now we have seen the same thing uh, with uh, uh, Abraham Segwe. Abraham Segwe. You understand? Mm -hmm. And who tells you that another thing will not still continue? So, what I'm saying here is that we should leave politics aside and call a spade a spade. The electoral law needs to be revamped. Whether people are agreeing with me outside there or they are not agreeing. For us to say that the head of state is not the problem, but the problem is the people, no. 
It is the institution. So the institution needs to be revamped. Once it's revamped and good laws are put in place, that moves in accordance with what A is supposed to do and what B is supposed to do, we will not be getting this conflict. And therefore, I still stand to say that there is a deliberate act somewhere. Someone somewhere is refusing to do the right thing in terms of putting the right laws for things to follow. Okay, but there is this message that is just coming in. Uh, we pray that our viewers just send in their messages, but don't call, please, because there are people who are calling instead of sending messages. Mr. Vincent Tana of Mbanga wish to contribute uh, on the, this program that Elecam is worthless without concern and approval of opposition parties alongside abolition of so-called rubbish multipartism in Cameroon. Well, that's your opinion, the viewer, but we say, say your point and avoid insulting others because... Uh, yeah, you know, Mr. Joey has yes, tried to make so a point across. he has his point, yeah. and then but he's gone far. Yeah, so just like I was about to learn, so what I'm thinking here is that for this state, because I keep on telling people we are all Cameroonians, and at no time somebody should somebody think that he's more Cameroonian than the other. That is what's first where the error is. Because just like the brother is saying, there are times when you bring points on platform like this, people start attacking you. Sometimes you start getting small, small threats from uh, administrators that you were not supposed to have said this. But then, the truth is bitter, but must be spoken. Would Elecam, as we find here, if structures are, if it is, if it is reorganized, first, it should take its fair composition. We are saying that political parties that are coming in are supposed to be given the chance to propose members to be members of Elecam. The issue where over three quarters of them are CPDM inclined, to me, does not make sense. Sometimes people will tell you that uh, they have resigned. But you still see it, the, the vein running in them, the way they behave. Uh, please, when it comes uh, to critical don't issues. You so see that, that, don't, you, don't you see that that one depends on your conscience? It, it is not the problem of the others. Then, because if you are put as an elected member, we presume that you have declined from uh, being political and well, it's, 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 uh, uh, but now it is you your conscience that's why, yeah, 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 that's right. why we are that's why we are cautioning yes. on those who uh, are there the individuals to now. play their neutral role as those who are managing no your caution is correct you yes. understand yes. but there are points whereby there are points whereby sentiment comes in it comes sometimes at the point of reflex because where i belong to if you put me where i'm not supposed to be there are times that i would think that hey i should support we have supposed to, by error, we have seen that most of the electorate, we had one lady who was suspended because of that, that, that action. Mm -hmm. So what I'm saying here is that we should be honest. The issue of conscience, we keep it first aside. Let us look at the situation whereby we propose to the head of state. That's why I've said that people who are honest to President Paul Bia will be doing good to this country. By telling our head of state, please, we feel that let political parties and civil society do their proposals of members of Elecam. Yeah. They put at the drawing board. Then people are appointed, they sit so that it should be universal suffrage. If we get people of moral standards, people appointed by political parties who are stakeholders in the election, it will be difficult for them to complain the election as we read because you proposed a member. How do you say it was okay, when okay. a member was present? Okay, thank you. Uh, this very correction, message, correction, I, this really message just coming in from Boya Town. They say nothing will change at Elecam if the texts are not, uh, are not reshaped or revised. Cameroon is another planet with leaders that are liars. We are going to, to see if newly appointed people will adjust things. Okay. That's Prof. Njike from Boyatown. Okay. I think that is a good reaction. Mr. Yes. Yes. yes, I want to insist on a particular point which becomes again many, uh, you know, to our hearing. The problem with our elecam of today, I talk, is the issue of management. We have this good text and they are not applied upon. Just the years that just passed by, the problem between the board chair, that's Mr. Mohamed Sani and uh, Professor Fonkam. You discovered that Professor Fonkam in 2013 was talking about what? That they should go for the voters' card and the national ID card before that elector goes into the ballot box or the police station to cast his or her vote. While the director general was talking of electors to go only with the voters' card. The voters card. So you see, this disparity is a problem. The it is money, the conflicting issues. And recently, we know what happened again with our elecam. The outgoing director gave another statistics. Why the, the, the minister of territorial administration gave his own statistics? Who is governing what at the end of the day? And I will make all of us to understand at the panel that this issue of misconduct should be redressed. And then the press too is having a hole. If we get, I read through uh, some press news, uh, some uh, publications, and they said, Fort Lude. You know, for us to talk about 
gross misconduct it must be judged by the legal court the person who you are talking of today is just accused it has not yet been confirmed so the president came in to take the right decision at the right time for justice to take its course mismanagement who should not be confused is not embezzlement mismanagement so this issue of a late so mismanagement is a, should be a lack of competence lack of competence and that is management will... efficiency and uh, effectiveness that, that, that gives who, performance who, who do we expect who, to, to be competent at that level let, don't forget I, I like what my brother let said me, just no, to, to, let, let me come that, up just, let me come up i am trying to say that Come what may, at the level of the director general, at the level of the chairperson of the board of directors, yes. we know that the director general is answerable to the board of directors, and the board of directors for now is answerable to the constitutional council. The reverse of it is lying. Hello. So the director general should be answerable, be it what the text holds. The director general is answerable to the board of directors, and the board of directors for now is answerable to the constitutional council. Okay. So each and everyone should respect their own line of duty before we move on to the second sub item we have as a topic today uh mr mo waters yes we have spoken we have touched all the inconveniences of election cameroon but now what are some of those take home points for the authorities and even the members of the LECAM so that there should be some uh, calm in this very body that is in charge of managing Cameroon elections okay the last word on one of the observation one observation we've made which is good is that there is no director general of LECAM who is not from the electoral council. Tanimu left electoral council and was made director, meaning he was used to the house before. And presently, uh, Mr. Eric Esosie is from leaving as the yes. vice director, the director general, and part of this council to become a director. So there is nothing new. I quite remember he gave us lectures in the days of O'Neill. So he is used to electoral management. What we are telling them, like the major stakeholders, no matter the level they are, is that if in the past there had been gross manipulation and people pretend behind wrong text to fake results, it's because those who were not on divine mandate had been going in for elections. When somebody is on divine mandate, he's unstoppable, he's unkillable, he's unkidnappable. No, if you want to kill him, Keep him out, kidnap him by rigging his vote in manipulating text, you are in trouble. So, you are, even whether you take an oath before men, the court or not, being a member of a LECAM to monitor election in 2013 18 is an oath before God, and your conscience and this nation will either celebrate you or mar you. So, do your work well. Cameroonians are watching you, you will be celebrated, and the little you have, manage well before complaining. Let money not be a factor. I thank God we have electoral. Code that is existing today where politicians and political parties will no longer have access to use their money to buy militants or buy conscience of those in charge of managing elections. So we want to congratulate those who are appointed that will not judge you before time. Now a possibility has been given. Mr. Eric Ekoso, Ekoso was a vice director. Now you are now a full-fledged director. And it's a man, a level-headed man. So we want to give him the benefit of doubt and trust so that a good can be delivered so that we can have election free of protest. Thank you very much. Thank you. We're moving on to the last word from you, Mr. Far Elvis Dayon. Yeah. You yeah. know, we have to give out the conclusions for this person. You are very right. Yeah. You are very right. To me, the last word will be that, first, while working, ELECAM needs to be restructured. If we take ELECAM the way we are and get into elections, I'm afraid we'll still get more loopholes. While those who are mind elections, the ELECAM for now, they should be God-fearing because we have credible candidates coming. We have O.C. Joshua of SDF coming, you have a Prophet Frank coming, and we have many other candidates who are even younger, as my brother said here, meaning that the time for young people to come into the play has come, and they should not jeopardize their chances because now God is in control. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Chair.